In this video, we're going to take a look at Mindful Gray, a wonderful neutral paint color that I'm gonna give you all the details on, as well as an entire color palette that I put together for it. So if you wanna know the best way to use this color, what trim colors go well with it, and what other colors you can use throughout your home, stick around because this is Color Quickie. So one of my favorite things to do on this channel is put together color palettes for my viewers because color and design and decorating, which is what we talk about on this channel, by the way, it is super subjective and personal, but I think sharing ideas is awesome because we can get different perspectives on what might work in our homes that maybe we wouldn't even have thought of. That being said, I know a lot of you have thought about this paint color because Mindful Gray is immensely popular. Even though it's not the lightest color, it's been featured in several different color collections by Sherwin-Williams, including their top 50 interior and exterior colors lists, which is kind of interesting. So it has a dual purpose of being used a lot outside and inside. In the context of this video, we're gonna stick within the interior of the home. And I find that Mindful Gray is an awesome secondary sort of support color or core color in a palette because of the fact that it has a 48 LRV. And if you don't know what that means, if you don't know where to find that, Sherwin-Williams actually puts it right on the website just under the color information. The LRV is the light reflectance value if you're new here. This is the percentage of light that a color reflects. And a 48 LRV like Mindful Gray means the color reflects 48% of the light that hits it. So that puts it in a nearly perfect mid-tone category. And just for reference, black paint colors might be as low as three on the LRV scale and white could be as high as 93. So 48 yeah, it's kind of in the middle, which means that this is a color that you want to use in spaces that actually need a color. Like you don't want it to just completely wash away into the background and feel really light and off white. This color has some depth to it. It's going to be noticeable, but it's still within that neutral category of colors. Not gonna really pull focus like a redwood or a blue. It's going to feel a little more subtle and understated. Now you could call this color a mid-tone grayish, a combination of gray and beige and maybe a touch of brown. It's a bit taupey as well. The undertone that I really get in person quite often is a green vibe and that usually comes down to the combination of yellow and gray coming together especially in colors that are this deep so there is a little bit of this warmth happening but it's not as warm as let's say a tan or a cold i describe this color as being a bit earthy. It has this organic feeling to it. Really suits colors that are even more green, which I may have included in this palette later on, but also more traditional neutrals that are a little more beige leaning or just lighter in general. I wouldn't really use Mindful Gray as my main color in a palette that kind of goes everywhere. This is more of a secondary color. It's just in that next tier of colors for the sectioned off rooms, maybe living room, bathrooms, your office, things like that. And that's only because I tend to gravitate towards colors that are maybe in that 60 LRV range for the larger parts of my home, just so I can keep as much light as possible reflected back into the space. So let's get into some color pairings that go really well with this color. But before we do that, go ahead and press that like button for me if you're enjoying this content so far. And if you're new here on the Paint People channel, subscribe because we put a ton of videos every single week. So if you're looking for a baseboard color that would go well with Mindful Gray, I would go with White Sand. This is kind of a newer color on the block. It is part of the Emerald Designer Edition collection. That's an 84 LRV, so quite a bit lighter than Mindful Gray, which is important on your baseboards because you want that contrast. You wanna see that clean trim kind of pop off of the walls. And even though you can go a lot brighter in terms of your whites, I like the soft sort of warm appeal of white sand. I think it just coordinates really beautifully. Now, what if you wanted a darker trim color, or maybe you wanted a bit of an off black sort of vibe on your doors or any accessories that you're kind of working with? Gauntlet Gray would be my choice. And as you can tell, this isn't quite an off black. It has almost this like deep, dark chocolatey quality to it. It is like essentially a very dark taupe. And yes, there might be the slightest hint of green that can pop out every once in a while, especially next to Mindful Gray, you maybe won't see that in various circumstances. It's another one of those earthy neutrals that I really enjoy, kind of a taupe base combining dark, sort of charcoal with some brown. And it is kind of a warmer brown too, which I think is nice. Goes very, very well with Mindful Gray. Now, what about other colors to go with Mindful Gray throughout your home? Maybe you want a whole palette for the first floor, let's say. Well, if that's the case, I would put Simple White as the main color or the hallway color perhaps for this palette. And that's because it is warmer, it is lighter, and it just has a little more versatility at connecting the dots, whether you have some warmer or cooler elements 
within your decor. It's also a fairly timeless style of color because it does combine the more traditional beige and a more contemporary gray into one color. It has a 70 LRV, which is a little bit on the lighter side, but I think it's still rich enough where it won't feel like a pastel kind of off-white. It has a little bit to it, which I think is nice. And it's just one of those no-brainer colors that you can just put on and then usually it's gonna work fine. But make sure you test out the colors before you do that. Don't take my word for it, please. Before you get a really big can of paint, get a tiny little baby can. That's a tester, by the way. All right, moving on to the next color. We're gonna actually bring in some color here with mineral deposit. Now, as you can see, we're seeing a lot more green with this one. This isn't just a straight up neutral gray. This is a grayed out cool green. So it is a combination of blue and green and giving you a little bit of a cyan sort of vibe. And I think this is an amazing color for those secondary spaces in your home that you want to feel a little more special, let's say. So perhaps there's not a ton of artwork you're featuring in a specific room. So you want the walls to really stand out instead. Don't go for mindful gray in that circumstance. Go for mineral deposit. It's gonna have a little more oomph, a little more impact, which I think is really nice. A 43 LRV, so a little bit darker than mindful gray but also not insanely dark. So I wouldn't really call this an accent color. This is something that you can use with a little more flexibility. Our third color brings in even more green. It is willow leaf. Now, unlike mineral deposit, this one doesn't have that same sort of cyan blue coolness. This one does feel a little more like a true foresty green and it is a bit grayed out. It has a little bit of a sage quality that just desaturates it a little bit. And I think this is a color that can really add some richness to a space. So maybe you want something to stand out a little bit more within the whole cohesive color scheme that we've built, go with willow leaf. Ideally, you use it in an area that has a lot of lighting because this color does not reflect a ton of light, but even in rooms that maybe don't get ideal lighting, then you're just leaning into that darkness, which can work in a lot of circumstances. So here's the palette all together. Please let me know what you think. And also we have our Patreon channel live where we have exclusive content put up there every single Sunday. If you want exclusive personalized color quickies for from me every three months, join our Prime membership down below, click that link, and we got another video right over here.